Hello everybody, how's it going? I've been sent this fragrance called Tango from Mask Milano. Mosque? Mosque Milano? Um, and I appreciate the bottle, but as always, even if I am sent something for free, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. And straight up, I do not like this fragrance. Okay, I have it here on my wrist. And you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when you check into a hotel late at night, maybe around 11.30 p.m., when there's nobody in the lobby and you're just waiting, you're sitting on those really uncomfortable, cold leather couches and they have this weird incense candle waxy smell going on, just wafting in the lobby. You know, it smells like that mixed with, at least this is a personal take for me, mixed with English teachers I had growing up. You know, like this is a smell that really reminds me of the English teachers I had throughout my middle school, throughout my high school. It's just, it's uncanny, you know? So off the bat, I am telling you, this is not a fragrance I would ever reach for. Just because there's so many other bangers behind me. The only time that I would see myself reaching for this is if I wanted to test the full, like, you know, the full wear of the fragrance but on scent alone this is not something that makes me go oh man i'm gonna wear tango today you know this smell i don't know the notes of the fragrance um because i sprayed it maybe 30 minutes ago and i don't want to have any sort of bias to be like okay there's these notes in it let me search for these notes i want to know right off the bat if this smells good if, sm if this smells like something i would wear or i would like to smell on somebody and I mean, this is definitely a smell that you have smelled on somebody, but it's not a smell I would like to smell on somebody, you know? It's just, it's a bit, it's a bit too sweet, too waxy, too dense, too heavy, too thick for me, just because also I live in really warm weather. Um, and this is just quite the contrast to that. This is not a scent that I would, that is wearable year round for me. But on top of that, even with the sweeter scents and the louder scents that I tend to enjoy, this is not in the same ballpark. You know, you've heard me talk about Carlisle so many times, about even Intense Cafe and Tobacco Vanille, but this scent is just a pass for me. This is not something that you would really see me recommend in my videos just because I don't gravitate to this fragrance, but I do know that there are going to be people that like this scent. This is definitely... There's a reason why I've smelled this a lot growing up, and that's because there's certain people that really enjoy this scent. You know, that's why, like, the fact that those two things were the first ones that came to mind just proves that people enjoy this type of scent. But it's just not my cup of tea at all. It's not my cup of tea. I appreciate um, the bottle, and I'll put a link in the description in case this might be something you enjoy. But yeah, I gotta be straight up with you. Gotta be real with you. Don't like this fragrance. I do not like Tango, but I'm assuming that the longevity is going to be around seven hours, you know, seven to eight hours, just because of the how strong the kind of scent profile and the DNA is. But I'll let you know that maybe on like an Instagram story or something of how long this lasts for. But to be real with you, I'm contemplating on washing it off my arm just because, you know, if you can't really get past the scent, you know, it's like, okay, you want to find out how long it lasts for, but if you don't like the smell, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a weird give and take. We'll see what I do. But anyways, thank you so much um, for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.